Hi Virgo, welcome to your July reading. If your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in sign of Virgo, these messages are for you. Yes, I'm filming outside. Uh, yes, there is a lot going on. I'm sorry, I live downtown. There's nothing I can do about the noises. Um, I have my earphones in, so hopefully you guys can hear me good, okay? Um, if you don't want to miss a reading, please make sure to turn on your bell post notification. And guess what? Patreon Gang is where you can get early access to all of my YouTube content ad-free. This is also where I post uh, weekly videos just like this. They are exclusive to Patreon and I basically tell you the tea for the next seven days, what to expect in love, in finances, all that stuff. So if you want to be exclusive, check out the, the link in the description box. I also have the link uh, down there for personal readings, one-on-one -on -one readings. I'm also putting uh, three months ahead video readings. So this is like where you can watch me pull your cards uh, and I send you like a private link where you have access to your private video and it never expires. You can watch it anytime. And yeah, that's like a love and finance reading. Okay, you can ask a question if you if you like. Okay, so let's get into it. I'm super excited. Um, I filmed your love reading. Uh, it's already over on Patreon for the Earth signs. I will be filming. I will be also posting it on my Instagram. So if you want to watch your love reading, uh, I'll be posting it soon on Instagram. Victoria X Prada. That is my Instagram handle. Okay, so let's get into it, um, Virgo. Uh, it's really interesting. So we have Venus moving into your sign, Virgo, on July 21st. And I just had Hotline Bling, like Drake's song, like stuck in my head. So it's like someone's trying like really hard to get your attention this July. Someone may be upset that you ghosted them or you're not interested in them anymore. Um, I feel so the trash has taken itself out and now they're kind of upset maybe that they don't have a chance with you. Okay, so you're, you're feeling like hot stuff. Virgo, you just are. And I feel so people are also uh, valuing you a lot more. They're understanding what you bring to the table now that Venus is moving into Virgo. They're on. They're understanding what you bring, okay, to the table. And so I feel so people are going to be trying harder to set up to the plate. And I'm also seeing you just being beautiful, feeling yourself, feeling very independent as well and very youthful. All these things that, that represent Virgo. And I just see you having a really good time, all right? But let's get into it. Let's start off uh, looking into career and finances and then we'll look into your love life. It's so lit because like I sat down to record right and it was so cold I brought out a sweater uh, the Sun was not shining and then all of a sudden the Sun is out so that's really cute okay so career and finances for Virgo please career and finance for Virgo career and finance for Virgo please career and finance for Virgo this July okay I feel so you're making more money than you can count it seems as though there's like a large lump sum of money coming in or like an influx of money uh, maybe if you like got more shifts got more hours at work now you are reaping the benefits of that okay so I'm getting large amounts of money coming through bottom of the deck we have the ten of, of, of wands yeah so I don't feel so you have to lift a finger to make more money I feel so you likely have already done the hard work uh, and now you're really able to appreciate the fruits of your labor this is a great time to take some pay time off some vacation leave uh, I'm definitely seeing you being social organizing things with a group of friends with co-workers peers uh, if you own your own business for instance this could be a really profitable partnership that comes along okay I'm seeing an opportunity here also uh, through like job interviews okay so I'm seeing you uh, collaborating with, with more people and also like having these conversations with others in terms of money okay something beneficial is here I'm also getting um, like important knowledge Knowledge is coming to you okay so I, I don't know if you're like meeting up with like elites higher ups influencers you may meet with people that know what the fuck they're doing and they're sharing wisdom and insight with you and they may also be interested in working with you okay we have the nine of wands in reverse we got the king of cups you're definitely stepping outside your comfort zone when it comes to work and I feel as though this is benefiting you in more than one ways um, some of you are are walking away from poverty okay or or thoughts of poverty like uh, we've often spoken like about the um the effect that poverty has um you know further down the road you know what i mean like if you grew up uh, impoverished for instance like growing up you may have to be like unlearning certain coping mechanisms like just any trauma surrounding poverty or just like any type of like issues that you've been having with money i'm seeing you like releasing this on an emotional level okay so i feel so you are putting you're putting yourself in a position where you can manifest more money because you're no longer uh 
like you're fixing your relationship with money. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Okay, we got the six of wands in reverse. This is very interesting. I do want to look into that. Um, and then we have the world card. Okay, so it's showing me um, a feeling of like a bit of like lack of progress when it comes to your career, finances, or your school life. You may be feeling as though you're not getting the recognition you deserve or, you know, you're, you're working so hard, but you're not getting the recognition. Um, I do feel so, Virgo, I am going to be honest. There are things that you can still do on your end in order to get recognized. I feel as though some of you are not really seizing these opportunities that come up when it comes to work, whether it's like taking on, uh, you know, more shifts so that you're noticed by your employer or like, that's not really the answer though, but like, you know, like doing things in order to make sure that you're good. Let me, let me look into this. What is the, um, what is the six of wands, please? I I'm trying to see what you feel like you don't get recognition for. Don't say everything, Virgo. Okay, this is career and finances. I don't know if you feel like you made a bad investment. Okay, so what is the six of, uh, six of wands, please? What is the six of wands, please, for Virgo? What is the six of wands for Virgo, please? What is the six of wands? Sorry, my cards are reflecting into my eyes. The things I do for you guys. Okay, so we got, yeah, ten of wands. Okay, knight of pentacles, six of pentacles, six of wands. Okay, I feel as though there's like this, um... There's like this new job opportunity and it may be abroad or maybe like it, it requires like some type of travel. OK, um, I feel as though you're feeling sad. Like, I don't know if you feel like, um, OK, it's, it's making me feel like we're taking on a new job, Virgo, but it's not coming with all the benefits that we thought that it was going to come with. OK, so if you are applying for work, if you are asking for a promotion, I see you getting what you want, but it's not entirely what you want. OK, uh, it may not be the location that you wanted it to be. That's what I'm feeling. It's mostly pertaining to location wise or um, the amount of responsibility that you'd be having, okay? Because it's making me feel like you were really ready to be leveling up and recognized and you were going to do this like massive breakthrough, but then it's like your audience isn't receptive of that. So if you are um, having like a launch, let's say, for your business, like I feel as though things kind of take a moment to actually build up. We got the hyphen card in reverse. So yeah, I feel as though there's like commitment issues here or there's like um, your, your the, the, the community you're in or the... Um, the institution that you're in, so your company, especially if you're in corporate, uh, if it comes to like your school situation, I feel as though there's like a hold up there. I feel as though we wanted to make something happen, but there's a, a hold up on our plans, okay? Uh, Virgo, I feel as though you're feeling kind of discouraged there for a minute, but again, I feel as though everything's working out for your best interest. With the Knight of Pentacles, I know that good things are coming regardless, and this is bringing stability into your life, but it's not something you can expect to just happen overnight, okay? Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck, we have the Death card in reverse yeah there's a major transformation here when it comes to your the way that you view money the way that you make money and or your career okay some of you are switching majors or uh, maybe you're dropping out of school you're deciding to do something different I'm also getting like starting a band there's like a mention here of like a a, a trio okay but I feel so you're like dropping something you're moving away from something or you're moving on from something and it's not like the other side of the coin like it's not like the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side but this is a good move for you I hope that this makes sense Virgo okay you know what I'm saying like any newness that you welcome this month of July it will bring positivity especially when it comes to your emotional nature okay so like it is going to be good for you I do feel so you don't have to work as hard like it's it's feeling like a good payoff in the end but I don't think you see it that way at first it's all about perspective Virgo okay let me look into your love life because I was kind of like all over the place but I definitely see like a contract being broken I'm seeing something about you like not following through with something or you no longer being interested okay so make sure you're reading the fine print Virgo because there may be some miscommunication when it comes to a job offer promotion like anything regarding money anything regarding finance anything regarding money and finance I said that anything regarding you know career or schooling you need to make sure that you fully understand what you're getting into and I'm not saying that you're gonna get scammed I'm not saying there's like bad vibes surrounding that I just think you have like really high expectations and there's mention here of you need to embrace something else embrace something new let go of any type of negativity uh, that's kind of been keeping you stagnant because Virgo, a lot of us have the need to be perfect in order to try something new. You're not going to just like do something knowing that you may actually look ridiculous. You may actually be a human and make mistakes. Um, and it's like that keeps us stuck in like this mentality of like staying the same because we don't, we're too scared to take on the next step. Okay. So when you are brave enough to step outside your comfort zone, step outside your shell, Virgo, I do see abundance coming through, but it won't be instant. Okay. And 
don't get too carried away with your little imagination of like how you thought like maybe you just landed a corporate job and you're like oh my gosh i'm gonna have a contract i'm gonna hold this down for like at least 20 20 months like i don't know how contracts work but i'm just saying i'm just like making stuff up like you know and then it's like you end up going there and it's actually like a month-to-month contract well like virgo that's still like a really good thing to add to your resume like that's still experience you're still getting connection you're supposed to build okay so something's not going to come as easily as you expect it to okay but you're doing good you're on the right track okay let's look into your love life i feel like i've been talking a lot (laughs) about this okay let's look into your love life all right um july energy surrounding virgo is in love this july please Energy surrounding Virgos in love this July. Okay, so we got the uh, magician card. It's someone that's been like manifesting you, I feel, or like you've been um like words are spelled this July, okay? They they always have been Virgo, but I'm really wanting you to be careful about what you say, especially what you say out of anger. Um if especially like towards your partner or like towards yourself or about your love life. Like I feel so you're um kind of like you're feeling a little angry about something or you are trying to reach someone you're sending them a lot of text messages or someone's texting you okay someone's also like inviting you out this could also be friends and i feel so you're not in the mood you're saying no okay but i feel so there's someone here trying to manifest something with you they're trying to manifest you or you are manifesting something within your love life but you're using words in order to do this okay but this also counts for like negativity that you speak upon yourself Okay, so instead of saying women are all the same, men are all the same, men are trash, blah, 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 like really pay attention to the words that you're saying, okay? We got the page of swords, we got the king of wands, I'm, I'm seeing you possibly being like stood up or standing up a water sign, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo, I feel so you're not interested in them or they're not interested in you, okay? We got the six of cups in reverse, interesting, let's set the bottom of the deck. Okay, we got the fool card, yeah, I feel so someone is trying to reconnect with you and you're just like not interested, okay, let me see. Uh, six of pentacles yeah it's okay so i'm seeing the number six being relevant here either something's happening on the six something takes six days five to six days um i'm seeing a lot of um cancer energy too we got the moon card in reverse someone is going to come clean about the way that they feel about you this could also be your current partner if you're already in a relationship they're going to be explaining to you like your the the role you play in their lives okay with the six of pentacles in reverse i want you to really be careful of how much of yourself you are giving to other people this month because i do feel as though virgo there is a tendency of us and this this is being highlighted here there is a tendency for us to try to buy someone's love by being of service for them okay we want to be we want to bring some type of value to people's lives so we take on a lot of responsibilities and we just want to make sure someone is good okay or the people around us is good and that's great and all but we have to make sure that we're doing it for the right people and we have to make sure that we also leave some love behind for ourselves okay because i'm seeing i'm seeing here mention of insecurities being exposed insecurities coming out okay so even if your relationship your love life or even yourself virgo even if you look good on the outside even if you feel you look like you look confident on the outside i still feel so there are insecurities and these insecurities are likely coming out to play this july okay so this isn't a bad thing this is actually uh, a moment for you to look within yourself analyze you know what's going on and all that stuff and then you will be able to manifest even better for yourself okay don't forget the power of your words you are ruled by mercury mercury is the magician mercury is who brings a thought into the physical you understand mercury is like a magician messenger of the gods the gods are in the sky and the messenger relays these messages to the people who are on the earth okay so do be careful with like what something is being said through like text or like through anger like whatever you're saying out loud like just pay attention to that okay um i'm also seeing mention here of like Uh, someone that we thought was a soulmate but they're actually not we don't have that much compatibility wise okay and especially this person's like a scorpio or a cancer we're realizing this okay i'm also seeing someone's not appreciating your gift they don't appreciate what they do for you you're feeling disrespected and so you will be removing yourself or maybe you're not removing yourself maybe this is the reason why you two are are fighting okay I'm, i'm seeing something feels like new here i feel so you're like starting a new conversation i feel so you're the one going up to people or there's this air sign coming up to you talking to you uh this could be an air sign that you've known for some time they're giving me like young energy so they're very youthful okay but i feel so you've known them for some time anyways uh full card in reverse yeah 
And then the Four of Cups. Yeah, a lot of you are being so cynical when it comes to your love life, Virgo. I feel so you have a lot going for you this month, especially with Venus moving into your sign. A lot of people want to cater to you, but I feel so you're just not seeing the potential. Be open-minded this July. Um, it's okay to give people chances if they aren't your usual type. If they don't look like your ex, maybe that's not a bad thing. If they don't uh, treat you the same way your ex did, maybe that's not a bad thing. You understand? Okay, so be careful of what you are putting up with because I feel as though like, there's just so much emphasis on what you are manifesting this month. It's time to have a mindful hot girl summer. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so four of cups. And then we got the judgment card. Yeah, I'm feeling as though life lessons are really being shown to you this july and it's really important also because we just got out of mercury retrograde where we had to reflect on our past and we we're feeling nostalgic and all that stuff a lot of emotions were resurfacing virgo and i feel as though now you're in a position to call the shots but i think a lot of you have a lot of things that you need to let go of in terms of um in terms of self-worth honestly and also not just being around someone that can provide you something, okay? There's this very strong presence of this person here that they just don't know how to treat you right, but they take up so much, like, energetic space. Like, this is someone that feels like a leader. This is like an alpha male kind of energy, and I feel so this is the type of person that wants you to hide behind their shadow, and I don't think that you're meant to be hidden, Virgo. Um, I'm also seeing, like, delays in terms of love. I'm seeing, like, canceled plans. I feel so you're the one that's not really in the mood. I feel so you're triggered by something this July, and you cancel the plans, okay? Um, be open-minded if someone is actually showing you their heart. You understand? Like, if someone actually has good intentions towards you, allow that to open up you know the door to your heart just be open-minded is what i'm saying because this is showing me that you're not really seeing things for what they are you're focusing on what you do not have you're focusing on what you cannot change you're focusing on the past you're focusing on the negative uh, a lot of you need to let go of an ex okay you're looking at these new people and you're comparing them to your ex and it's like forget about the ex forget about the ex i don't think they're coming back just forget just forget about the ex you deserve better is what i feel okay judgment card First impressions are very important, Virgo. Remember that this month. Whether you are getting to know new friends or you are like dating around, like first impressions are very important also on your end, Virgo. So make sure that you also have uh, you know, a good presentation of yourself, okay? Let's see what the um, angels have to say. What do the angels have to tell Virgo? I do not like how when I shuffle these cards, they hurt my eyes. Oh my goodness. What does Virgo need to know? Angel messages for Virgo, please. Angel message for Virgo. Angel message for Virgo. Yeah, um, so, like, I feel so, like, if you're going out, like, it's a lot of people trying to get your attention, and you're just not interested. I feel so you're upset because there's someone on your mind, and they're annoying you. There's, like, something that's, like, frustrating you, like, on your mind. It may not be a person, but it could be a situation. You're focused on what you cannot change, and you're just in a bad mood. And it's, like, it's so many people around you that want to love on you, Virgo. Come on now. Okay, we have affirm yourself. These cards are in French, I'm sorry. Affirm yourself, okay? So decide on what you want so it can come to you now. Magician card. Someone's very charming with their words also, and I feel so you don't, you're not falling for it. You just don't believe it, okay? We speak more about this in your um, Earth Sign Love reading. So like I said, it's already on Patreon. If you want to watch it on Instagram when I do post it there, uh, it's uh, Victoria, at Victoria X Prada, okay? Choose a new direction. Yeah, this is especially when it comes to your state of mind, your approach, okay, the way that you see things. Like, choose a new direction because I feel so a lot of you are stuck on one person, you're stuck on one thought pattern, and it's like we need to be open-minded. There's an opportunity here for you to choose something else, something new. And this pertains to career, this pertains to finances. Like, level up. Why are you so scared to level up? We've got no. If you're wondering a yes or no answer, a yes or no question the answer is no okay something is not very likely okay that's why your guys are telling you to choose a new direction because the way things are going on right now the answer is no choose a new direction and then you have you are ready i love this virgo oh my gosh you are ready so go ahead affirm yourself and go after what you want because guess what you're ready what else are you waiting for let's get some monology cards real quick monology for virgo please monology for virgo Monology for Virgo. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have a personal issue reaches resolution. This is the full moon in Cancer. Um, next up, you got it's time to take action. That's that's really the main message. It's time for you to get your sh together and make some moves. Make some phone calls. Make some money moves. Like, 
get it together, get your resume out there, promote your brand, like get it moving, get the ball rolling, please, because there's too much Leo energy in the air for you to like be stagnant, please, Lord, take action. Next up, we got conclusions are within reach. This is the full moon eclipse. And then we have uh, the end of a tough cycle approaches. This is the full moon in Capricorn, which we just had recently. And so do keep in mind that full moon energy is potent for like two weeks after the full moon. So this is still relevant. I feel as though you're still processing conclusions from the full moon um, in Capricorn. And it's actually interesting because we do have, uh, we have a new moon in Cancer, like right around the corner. So um, a personal issue reaches resolution, okay? End of a tough cycle approaches. I love this so much for you, Virgo. I'm going to let you go. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.